you, Melissa. Uh, as you all know, my daughter Melissa and Nicole are the world to me, and my son-in-laws and my grandchildren. Uh, what can I say? I love them, and I'm so proud of all of them. But also, I need to thank everybody that's here, all my friends and uh, people I haven't seen in years. And I am so honored by their presence. And uh, I just want to say a few things about the job. Uh, be at work, you know, I've worked and I've heard people talk about public service. Well, I live those public service. I've done it for 28 years. And if you ask any attorney or anybody I serve, they will say that is true. And uh, I'm very proud to run for this position because I know I will do a great job and I love people and I love helping. And community work has always been in my heart. And uh, I learning new new things, new ideas has always been a part of my life. I have met with several attorneys and uh, I asked them, where do you want things to improve? And several of them told me, well, you know, there's computer programs in other courts, in other uh, cities, Dallas, Houston. And you can actually uh, view the document in the internet, in the computer, and then you can also print the document. Right now, we can't do that, we can view the document, but it doesn't sh show the document. It only it shows the docket entry, and they're not, you know, and it's not uh, available right now. So the first thing, one of my priorities, is to do this program because it's so important to the attorneys and the public. If they want to look up a case, they should be able to see it online, and they should be able to run copies, and that way it, it'll save them their personnel going to the courthouse the gas, and it makes it a lot more convenient for the attorneys to do it from their office or their home. So this is one of my priorities. Another one that one of the attorneys told me was that he was disappointed because he went by the office and wanted to view a file at the district clerk's office, and they wouldn't show it to him, that he couldn't get it, and he kind of complained. And I told him, well, you know what, you won't have that problem when I'm elected because the district clerk is the custodian of records and the files go to the courts when they're pending and when they're disposed they come back to us but if it's pending we can send somebody to pick up the file from the court and bring it to you so you can be sure that those files will be available to the attorneys and the public when they do want to view them uh, I had another question and this one was, uh, how are we going to improve things? I said, well, for one thing, I, I feel that, hold on a second, that uh, I will be requesting uh, audits quarterly from the Cameron County Auditor to make sure that everything is done properly. This way, if there's a problem, we can catch it right away, not wait months or a long time to try to correct it. So we need to be on top of that. I am proactive for that. Uh, I humbly ask for your support and I welcome you. Um, everybody can have my cell phone. If you have any ideas or is there anything you would like to see changes or improvements, you can always let me know. I will listen. And I will do my best to make that office. It is, it's running beautiful. We have real good service. And Ms. De La Garza has done a great job with the office. But there's always place for a little improvement. So I am going to be looking forward to working on that. So I ask for your vote. And please ask your friends and families that uh, when it's time to go vote, to please go vote. Because together we can win. And I will be your next Cameron County District Clerk. Thank you. Also, if anybody wants to come up, they're welcome to make any comments. County Judge, would you like to say something? My son-in-laws, Rob or Chris? Okay. 
Okay, I did open it to the to the floor, and I do want to recognize one of my best friends, Jake. I love you, Jake. 